Welcome to the fourth episode of Machine Learning Mornings on the Vijwara AI YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Raj Dandekar. I graduated with a PhD in Machine Learning from MIT and completed my B.Tech from IIT Madras. It's Diwali, it's a festive season and it's the festival of lights in India. So I'm incredibly excited to be putting out this video during this um, celebratory and happy times. We have received a number of comments on some of these videos which we have been releasing saying that students, working professionals, they want a roadmap for the kind of machine learning projects which they should be doing at different stages of their ML journey. So I'll just give a framework for thinking about this roadmap in this video. All the links for the projects will be mentioned in the information section of this video. So you can go through that. But right now in this video, my main aim is to help you think about the kind of projects which you can do uh, in the right manner. So in a machine learning journey of a student, I believe that there are three stages of doing impactful projects. And as you go from stage one to stage two to stage three, the value and impact of your projects go on increasing. So your aim should be to start from stage one, go to stage two and then go to stage three. Let me tell a bit about what these stages are. Stage one is basically the simple Kaggle projects, which all of us now are familiar with. And I'll be sharing the links to all of these projects in the information section. There are very famous Kaggle projects related to regression, classification, clustering, uh, reinforcement neural networks, deep learning, convolutional neural networks. I'll be sharing links to all of those. In the first stage, your main aim should be to go through these notebooks, run them in a Google Colab or VS Code environment on your own and try to understand every single line of code. That's the first stage. Until this point, you should not put any machine learning project on your resume. The simple reason being that anyone can clone or download a GitHub repository or Kaggle project and run it on their laptop or on Google Colab. So this does not add any new point to your resume. But it's good to finish stage one, not just blindly copying and pasting Kaggle notebooks, but understanding every single line of code. This will directly get your hands dirty and this will prepare you to move to stage two. Stage two is basically when you start adding your own personalized value to the projects. There is a very famous California housing data set and Boston housing data set regression project on Kaggle. Now, what if you take that project, you download it and you modify it for the city which you are living in. I am living in Pune right now. So what if I find data for Pune housing data set and I run a regression model fully on my own. I do the fine tuning myself. I do the hyperparameter optimization myself and I obtain the accuracies myself. No one has worked on this project before. That's a unique project. Secondly, there is a very famous Twitter sentiment analysis project on Kaggle. But what if you say that, hey, I want to modify this a bit. I want to find how tweets and Instagram is affecting the mental health of teenagers. So I'll scrape the data from Instagram, but I'll put a filter that I'll only look at this particular age group who is making the posts, which are teenagers. I'll download all of this specific data and then I'll look at how it's leading to anxiety or uh, uh, mental disorders, let's say, in teenagers, which was not happening before. That's a unique project. That's a personalized project which no one would have done before. And that also tests your machine learning skills because you will have to make sure overfitting is reduced. You will have to make sure that hyperparameter optimization is done the right way. You will have to choose whether to use cross validation, whether to use regularization or not. So in the second stage of the projects, you have to add your own personalization to the projects. The main idea can be based on some projects already on Kaggle or GitHub, but you have to inject your own flavor into it and completely modify the project. You can even make open source contributions to other projects which are significant contributions. When you start doing this, it seriously starts adding value to your machine learning profile because then people start taking you seriously as an ML engineer. When someone looks at your resume, they can see that, oh, hey, this person can do these individual projects on their own and they can take it to completion. So they can be an asset to my organization. That's what you should be aiming for in stage two. Once stage two is finished, comes the final stage. And that final stage is research. 
if you have a first author machine learning publication at top venues like NeurIPS, ICML, ICLR or any top machine learning journals or conferences, it's the best possible thing you can add to your profile. Research publications carry a huge amount of value, much more than doing projects. Because it's very hard to start a project and take it to completion at a publication level. Now here also remember there are so many journals out there and 90% of those journals no one has heard of those names. Don't try to submit over there. There are top 5 to 10 journals whose names I'll be putting in the YouTube information section. So you can go through each and every of those names and try to publish in these top journals. How can you publish in these top journals? Associate with professors. Try starting collaborations with research scientists or PhD people. How can you start doing this? If you have stage two, if you have projects done in stage two, you can use that to your advantage to form connections with research scientists, PhD students or professors. If you directly jump from stage one to stage three, they would not entertain you. But if you have done an awesome project in stage two, you can start a machine learning research project in stage three with a professor or an academic institute. Now, when you choose the machine learning project, do it wisely so that no one else has worked on it before. And don't try to get quick results in stage three. Try to work hard, give some time. It takes at least six to eight months for a research project to reach a publication level. Only when you reach that level, be satisfied with it and then add it to your resume. So just to summarize, there are three stages of your machine learning project transition. Stage one is doing Kaggle GitHub projects, which I call toy projects. Don't add them to your resume, but it's a significant uh, milestone in your journey. Then go to stage two, add your own personalized flavor, a flavor do impactful projects, make changes on your own, collect curate data sets, do the entire machine learning pipeline on your own. This will teach you so much. Then move to stage three, which is starting research projects, starting machine learning projects. And be patient in stage three. Try to only submit to the best journals or conferences. Don't be satisfied with uh, journals or conferences which not many people know about. So this is the three stage journey which all of you should keep in mind. I'll share all the links and all the details in the information section. Please be more proactive in the comments. Try to interact as much as possible. As you can see, we are taking feedback from the people and making these videos appropriately. Thank you so much everyone. And again, wish you a very happy Diwali. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.